Okay, so I, uh, I, I think we've got this. I could be wrong. Shell is eating crackers right now. Uh, I effectively sacrificed K to, um... Uh, yeah, sorry. I sacrificed Griffith. Uh... I, I sacrificed Griffith to effectively gather all the bugs into one area, and then, uh, suicide bomb. Should work. I think. Could be wrong. Probably should have enraged, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, let's just keep blitzing. Yeah, okay, we got this. Just gotta do... I guess rend. I, I, yeah, I think we got it down. Effectively, I gathered all the bugs in one area, and then just had Gr Griffith uh, whirlwind attack while they were wounded. Did you get two of them in one turn? Uh, four of them in one turn. Oh, mom. Yeah. I probably should have been recording it, but whoopsie. Anyway, two enemies with a single ability, victorious, and we get hunting gauntlets. Oh, accurate. Oh, okay. Accuracy, components, gemstones, glimmer. Now, does is Griffith gonna need? Yeah, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go use the camp, but that's okay because we only have two things left. So, going to Brer and Field actually works out fine. Okay, so it doesn't look like they've got anything specifically and you can save. to yeah to say. So I can save. Got it completed. Uh, let's cancel. Let's let's talk to people. <clears throat> so many sheep and cattle and pigs. Ancestors, I really, really hope none of those are my totem animals. <laughs> On my honor. Ready to march at your command, young master. Well, that was easy enough. Okay, back to the dungeon. What are you looking at? Eh, emails. I get so many emails. Okay. So you want to do a battle and then? Yeah, the we'll do. Node? We'll do a battle and then the node. Or do we want to do a node than the battle? Probably a node than the battle. Okay. Okay, a bizarre scene plays out in front of you. What you assume to be a long de deserted remnant of an old battlefield turns out to be quite bustling and alive. That is for a certain value of alive. Atop the mangled fla flags of and broken barricades, you notice orderly rows of zombies. Ah! They completely ignore your presence. Their eyes fixed at some unspecified point in the distance. What? You immediately realize that the aforementioned point in the distance is in fact also a zombie. This one, however, is different, and judging from the impressive size of his silly hat, he must be important. His posture impressively straight for an undead. He marches back and forth with surprising coherence and vigor. This must be like their general. Gentlemen, he bellows, our time is at hand. Soon the battle against Lord Relneth begins, and we shall defeat that fiend once and for all. Again, what? The graciously beheaded zombie notices you and approaches you with a joyous, if somewhat rotten smile on his face. Ah, reinforcements, jolly good. General Ecorsi at your disposal, Captain. We've been hot on the heels of these bastards for week na weeks now, but they're finally cornered. We shall engage them in glorious combat any second now. Uh, what are, uh, what you, are you talking about? Surely you can remember, Captain. Lord Samo Relneth, that blasted excuse for a son of... Old Lord Valneth, bless his soul, rallied his troops and took down two of my finest battalions. But that game is drawing to an end. Right now his army is caught with no way out. All we do is wait. When he decides to march, bam, the trap be shall be sprung and we shall dance. The sweet dance of victory on that bastard's yellow-bellied corpse. Better than him, I say. Um, so you can say there's no army or tell them flat out that they're dead. And I then you leave. Do you want to? Do you want to tell them that they're dead, or you well, let's go with his army. army? I see no army. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can always reload if we get a bad one on this one. I don't know. Well, he isn't called a devilish strategist for nothing. I can quite assure you they're out there, hidden, possibly even laughing, uh, laying a trap, silly chaps. After all, we're the ones laying a trap. We'll just wait them out. Elementary, really. You nod sagely. Well, now you have to How did that even work? You're dead. Nonsense, he waves his hand in an energetic gesture. I may be slightly rusted by the wear and tear of war, but I assure you, I'm as spry as ever. He chuckles heartily, his jaw pretty much defying the laws of physics. <laughs> no, really, you're dead? Look, your arm's falling off. 
No, it isn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Actually, it's right here on the ground. Look. Sweet, merciful gods, Captain. Without looking down, he leans over and almost mechanically reattaches his arm, seemingly without giving him much thought. You can't help but notice that the skin on his neck appears oddly flimsy. Seven arms? Just what is wrong with you? You need to foc- I need you to focus, damn it. It's a war zone, not a frat house. Oh, so you notice the skin is weak on his head, so you can grab his head, you can attack, or... Oh, yeah. How would I prove that you're dead? Do we want to grab? No, that might- Ah! Uh... Let's try. Theoretically, how could I prove to you that you're dead? Well, he strokes his non-existent beard. I suppose if I were to entertain this ridiculous notion, it would be... By way of progress in civilization. By that, Captain, I mean ink and paper, documents, nations stand on paperwork. He nods to himself. Nobody can refute a proper piece of paper with stamp and all. Stamps are important. Documents, as in a death certificate? There is no death to be certified here, but yes, that would do. I imagine priests of Lunius would have something like that, morbid fellows that they are, but by golly, Captain, why are we discussing this nonsense? Did you wake up on the wrong side of the mat today? I need you in top shape for this. Top shape, my chap. Acknowledge, General. Hold the position. I'll be back. I'll be right back. Don't keep me waiting, Captain. The treacherous Lord Veleneth can strike at any minute now. He then proceeds to address his bliss blissfully dumb zombies. You leave. So that's a quest. Quests have been updated. So the... Ungenial general, part Refuse two. Refuse to believe he's dead until you prove otherwise. Obtain his death certificate from the priests of Lunius. Fun. And we got a battle. Uh, let's see if this one has a nonsense time limit or if we're okay. Defeat the troll. Win without spending any authority points. Okay, land all the finishing strikes with the same character. Oh, kill everything with one person. Okay, troll... Nacho! It's Nacho the we troll. We might not actually be able to beat this. Wait, what do you mean? Look at his health! Wow. Yeah. That's um, a problem. That's a legitimate problem. Take out his wolves? Uh, yeah, I guess. We move Iskar. Now. Yes. Okay. Gonna move here. Gonna pounce on him. Dodge. Well, that's frustrating. Actually, I can't undo that. Oh, you moved back. I should have moved over one. Well, that's okay. Um. Because now you can't blitz him or anything. It's okay. I technically don't need to blitz him. I'm just gonna taunt him. Should have thought about that. Whoa. That's okay. Flee. Oh, I just noticed. He's empowered. We might actually have a means against the um the troll that I didn't think about. What? This area doesn't fit troll. Okay. I can fit my whole team in here and play ring around the tree root. Ah, so you can just strike at him from a distance. Yeah, that sounds absolutely stupid, but we'll do it. Okay, let's command on him. I mean, I think we'll be okay. I just... Any enemy with that much HP is like, not really sure about that. Oh, he barely can move, too. Yeah, we got this. I mean, worst comes to worst, we just shoot him repeatedly with K. A rabid warg. Yes, yes. Okay. So let's do whirlwind. Sweet damage that it does. I'm gonna move into the tree root. I'm gonna wait. The time is now. Let's see, is it killable yet? No. Almost. One more hit. Oh, that wolf's incoming, though. Yeah, it is. And that one. Chomp. Ouch. Oh, wow. These guys do a lot of damage. Okay, weakened. Well... Let's weaken it. I think. 
Yeah, the, as long as the troll can't reach me. Oh. Stone toss. Ouch. I don't know. I might not be able to beat this. Well, how far is his range? Uh, pretty dang far, I think. Okay. You don't want to brawl, like, maul them out of existence? No, uh, no, we have, a uh, we have one to not use oh, any right. authority Justice. points. Not that that's okay. necessarily a good idea. Well fought. Still. Oh, did he actually get poisoned? He did. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, ouch. Wolfpack one, and empowered. Here we go. This is a particularly brutal fight to come across. Well, it's the last fight of the uh, encounter. So yeah, I'm just too. legitimately concerned that I'm not going to be able to beat it. We move now, yes. I mean, if I can take out his wolves, this gets a bit more doable. Yeah. Okay. Let's escape this direction. Do they have shields, or does that particular wolf have Let shields? Uh, no, they don't. Are you serious? Aww. Oh, they're both on him. Yeah, I'm just gonna boost his shields if I can. Yeah, you haven't been focusing on their shields lately. I have been. Oh, really? They just yeah. chomp through them? Yeah. Well, these enemies do like 200 damage. Right at you. Uh, wait. I don't want to be standing right here. There we go. End activation. Oh no. Oh bad. Oh Stars. no. Oh, that's only 180 day. Oh, but stunned. That's bad. On the prowl. Okay, uh, so. Wait, there are potions that you can use? I don't have any. Then why is there a tab for her? Oh, no items in your inventory. Why did you move her away and then did the slash? Because I want him to do a whirlwind attack. Oh. What's this do? Bloodlust. Oh. Well, that's handy. I, I'm just gonna have her wait. Okay. Whirlwind attack. <laughs> Missed one of them. Hmm. This is really frustrating. Oh, they're both gonna chomp. 200 damage. And we are stunned. Did he... punch you. I... You I, need to get out of there. Now, yes? Yeah, I do. And I, I just still think it's weird that you haven't used her to finish off the wolves. Because there's a challenge to have one person do all of the finishing oh, blows. Well, oh. I... The time is now. I guess that's moot. Okay. No well fought. Finish the wolves. Okay, we might be able to get this. Let's go. You need to move him away. Yeah, I gotta move him away. Um I guess I've already used my authority points. Oh, can't do. Okay, where is she? Okay, I guess I'll just do this. Well, I guess we get neither challenge. That's fine. We don't need to get them all. I guess it's we probably better. We just want better. to be able to beat this. I sure yep. Need a mini pizza right now. Stone toss. Wait, yep. he tossed it. She's actually there. It's what? a bug. Yes, yes. Oh. Okay, and then we're gonna run away. Yeah, if you notice. Zoop. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna taunt. Take out his accuracy a little bit. Oh, that could this could work beautifully. Mm -hmm. So taunting, forced to attack the inflictor. If we just stay away, he might just have to blindly no, charge. No. Yeah. If you keep that on him, that will help. Okay. Uh move here. Gonna do command. Yeah. We might be able to do this. I gotta worry about K taking damage, though. 
Don't toss. He's still tossing on her even though he's... So I guess taunt only works if he is within range. He doesn't just blindly. Aww. It's frustrating. Actually... You know what? Let's undo that. I'm gonna move here. Yeah, if he didn't have a ranged attack, we could we could do this. But because he's got a ranged attack, he's particularly uh, shitty of a foe. Well, just gonna do rampage. Actually, no, we don't want to do that. Um, we actually want to move over here. We want to do command on her. So interesting thing, I don't think command has a cooldown. Correct? I don't know. Doesn't. Strike now. So she has a lot of shielding at this point. Yeah. The only person who doesn't is K. Which is kind of rough, but that's okay. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. oh. I punch you. On her again. But he was taunted! Yeah, for some reason it seems to have been applied to her. Yes. He's been going for her the entire battle. That's really annoying. Well, that's okay. What? That didn't do any damage? Dodged. Oh. I wish there was a way to prevent them from dodging. Yeah, that'd be nice. Okay. I... I guess we're just gonna go with the other option. Which is just corner him and wail on him. Because mm -hmm. he actually doesn't do that much damage. It looks like he was supposed to do a lot more. Was there a time limit on yes. this battle? No. Okay, good. Because defeating this troll is going to take everything you've got. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Let's command. Take this. Yeah, we've got 800 shields on him. So I think I think we're okay. Whoa, that pushed him back. He did a lot of shield damage. Yeah, pushed him back, but that's okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's do... What does the most damage? Whirlwind. The time and is now. turn. Okay, so we want to use... his finishing touch? Finishing touch, but Speaking he has to be below a certain amount of HP. Uh, yeah. What did you start with? 2,000 something? Okay, I'm gonna blitz, and we're gonna... Yeah, 2,326. So when he goes below... It's 40%. 4 times 230. Like 900, 920? Okay. 920. When he goes below 920 HP. Then he is capable. I don't know if he's tauntable. He might be. I don't know. Okay. Take this. Uh, let's just keep bolstering shields. Luckily, both of my characters are just loaded with it, so we're kind of okay. That hurts, though. Especially because he gets weakened. Leave this yeah. to me. Um. And I guess I get to just keep Strike doing this. Out. Hmm. We and now, activation. Yes. Let's see if I can savage roar him. Panicked. He is panicked. Okay. I'm not entirely. Panic is supposed to make him flee in a random direction. Let us strike. I just don't know if it works. Especially when you corner him. Yeah. Well, he can move this way. Mm hmm. So we'll see. Okay. 111. Or 1111. Oh, she's gonna need more shields. Yep. Just frustrating yes, because, yes. like, I try and use uh, status effects and they, uh... They don't actually work the way I think they're supposed to. 
Well, that's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna have her pull back over here. So let's pull back one more. The time is now. He's still not low enough. For great justice. <sighs> yep. Skillful. Here we go. Missing the ogre does not seem even remotely close to fair. Okay, well that's fine. And I'm gonna have K run. Smash. At least ground pound does not do a whole lot of damage. Mm -mm. Yes, yes. Okay, so I could do this. No. It's good against multiple enemies, but... Okay, so this is going to do Sundered for a turn. Yeah. Well, he's under 920. Yep. But he's But stunned. he is stunned. Okay, so she's... At good shields, he's at less. Take this! It's white. Didn't weaken it? Uh, did weaken him though. It's really annoying. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, I have four. Let's do massacre. Oh. We're good. Strike. We're just barely good. Okay. Finishing touch. No quarter. There we go. Finally. Okay, just 100 EXP, unfortunately. Also, it uh, in the future, mm. we needed to do easy things first. I'm noticing the EXP rewards seem to be about the same no matter where we've been. Okay. So we'll keep that in mind. Wow, this was uh, this was an ordeal. <laughs> Dungeon, Dungeon complete. complete. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, each character has a unique passive ability to dedicate. Oh yeah, we've seen that. Caravans? I asked him to get some goods from Minway. The roads aren't exactly safe, but we need trade. And no sane man would dare to mess with one of the gnomish princes. But he's not a merchant prince. Right. Don't tell that to the bandits. You don't seem to like Master Andorus all that much. He is resourceful I guess and persistent might as well make the most of it I detect a scathing undertone in your voice my lady I'm just a simple merchant trying to make a living see you didn't say honest does the quality of my service offend you Depends if that jar of golden liquid you unpacked three boxes ago truly is a quote-unquote potion for good fortune. <laughs> uh, perhaps an empirical sample is in order. A small discount for my benefactors. Well... Thanks, but no thanks. Shucks! Someone was stowed away in the supplies! Ow, ow, ow. Ooh. Huh. Maybe she comes from the machinist place. Yeah, maybe. Are you all right? Could be better. You? Oh, I ate toast for breakfast and... What the hell were you doing in a vase? My vase! On my caravan! The doll! Oh, the last thing I need right now is human trafficking charges. What do you think one can do in a vase? You're not going to just talk your way out of this. Who are you? Okay, okay, Miss Pissy. Call me Alice. Fire mage, I think. Hmm. My boss! You violated my boss! I didn't violate anything. I hitched a ride. All the way from Minway. That raises disturbing questions. And I suppose you want me to answer them now? So why did you hide in that vase, miss? Fine. Ignore my mask. You'll come begging to me for discounts later. Oh, you know how it is. You stick your head a little out of the crab bucket, and suddenly, everyone's aiming to lop it off. You live, you're bound to make somebody mad. Get enough heat, and it's time to change the ambiance. Wouldn't be the first time, anyway. <sighs> Look. 
it's complicated. For now, I'm just looking for a place to crash in. No strings attached, no charity involved. Believe me, I can pull my weight. You're awfully keen to lie low, aren't you? Hey, I'm not a criminal if that's what you're getting at. Sis? What are you looking at me for? The decision is not mine. You'll have to talk to our brother about this. Then I will. Alright. Okay, party's rested, party's leveled up. Yeah, so we're up to party level 3. We can equip another slot. Uh, let's see, can I give him... Let's give him vitality. Doesn't need initiative that much. Bonus... Oh, perfect strikes. And... Landing spot to be within our line of sight. Hmm. Sure. Let's grab that. 3% damage is nice, but not that important. Now, what's that? The Union Archives. Oh, that's where you get the... Yeah. General Orgorsi's we'll desk. We'll go there later, get. though, because travel times and whatnot. Is it a dungeon? No, it's a quest location. F for now, let's just go to Escalia. Okay. Saturday. Because, yeah, we could have... We could go adventuring further. I think that's actually going to be something that we do uh, once we have a full More party. More of a magistrate. So. Yeah, so what I want to do once we have a full party is actually wait, just... Wait, wait, what's the Winter Realms? What does it show? Do a loop here? I just want to see if that's where the elves live. Artists seek inspiration. Go to the right. Elves. Yeah, so the elves the former are... Former outpost. Ice. Yeah. Okay. Okay, days left. Oh, the days left are not for the overall game. That's for that's for this chapter. Oh, for probably. like what we need to complete. Have plus five plus kingdom what? Oh, here we go. Five plus kingdom quest done. So everybody has their schedules. So this is where we can find them. So personal oh, bond, personal, personal bond, personal bond, day off, pier, castle. So this is how we can interact with them. And it's Seder Day, so, so you we can, can see. see the merchant any day because he's always in his shop. Yep. But well, that's neat. Okay, well, let's go to Castle Loren and see about the uh, the Alice. new new character. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey there. Hello. I've been told that you wanted to speak with me. Those two blondies brought you up to speed, huh? They're my sisters. Yes, I thought as much. But let's cut to the chase. I'm Alice. I was probably born in Shadu, but it's hard to tell with people like me, as dumb as it sounds. I don't tend to dwell on it, nor do I care. I travel a lot, mostly, and voluntarily. I guess I'm kinda sorta on the run right now. But if there's one thing you should trust about me, it's that I'm not a criminal. Instead... Hold on. What did you mean, people like me? Ah, well, I was getting to that. I was hoping to butter you up before we got to the subject. See, I'm a kindling. <sighs> yeah, this is your cue to scream. Oh, uh, what now? Huh? You don't know? Well then! Basically, she's a natural-born wizard. Oh, cloth physics on her thing. I didn't actually... Mm -hmm. That's neat. Normally, magic requires years of practice, discipline, and effort. But every once in a while, a person may be born with a gift. They wield magic like they breathe. Spontaneously. Why have you been eavesdropping? Point is, kindlings get a bad rap, and it's not hard to see why. They're like a sugar-crazed kid with a razor. All the power, none of the limitations. There's plenty of room for things to go wrong. Wow, graphic. I see you've done your research, Miss Pissy. Would you just stop calling me that? At least I don't dress like a cheap stripper. What? You spoiled little... All right, ladies, let's all take a deep breath here and... Scratch pad. Push up. Circus freak. Aw, you know that last one was weak as shit. Uh, uh, ahem. <clears throat> ladies, would you please just calm the hell down? Let's go back to that part about you being drunk with unlimited power. That sounds troublesome. I can't speak for other kindlings, or whatever they choose to call themselves. 
The way I see it, it's just a big, dumb label that attracts way too many kooks. Hell, I spent half my life running away from kooks. And I'm tired. I need a breather. Place to kick back for a while and not worry about crazies trying to scalp me for no sane reason. That's not criminal, is it? Ah, you want shelter then? That's what I said, yeah. Gwen? Sure, let's invite a literal living bomb under our roof. After all, we already have a canned dead guy and a naked bushwoman. Might as well complete the collection. You're mocking me. No. Uh, I'll have to take a leap of faith here, won't I? Well, it'd certainly be considerably easier to just burn you all. But surely you can see how that wouldn't necessarily turn out to be the wisest choice? Don't you worry. I'm used to having to earn one's trust. I take it I don't need to ask whether you can defend yourself. If I focus hard enough, I can make your head explode. I'll take it as a yes. Well, that's good enough for me. Welcome aboard, Lady Alice. Great. Now, if you excuse me, I think I saw a bearded woman around the corner. Oh, Gwen. I apologize for her. Nah, don't sweat it. She'd grouch herself to death without someone like me. Let's go. All right, so we have our fourth party member. We we have a mage. That means that maybe we can do ranged attacks. Yeah, to... maybe we won't have crazy trouble against everything. Okay, so. And it looks like she's in the inn. Yep. So we could do personal bond with her if we wanted to. Mm-hmm. Uh, town square shop. Uh, it's probably worth it. However, what I wanted What's to do. What's up with uh building stuff? Can we build anything? Uh, building takes a day, okay. so that's a bit, bit sketchy. Uh, we do need to work on uh, focus on oh, our kingdom quests let's look at above our all kingdom else. Kingdom quests, yeah. Okay, so we've got acquaintance with a, uh, look, at least four people. Reach acquaintance stance with eight people is that's hard. We don't have eight people. Oh. Uh, constructing three buildings is important. Uh, clearing locations is super important. In fact, we've actually got two. Done. So if we oh, uh, if we go fake. dungeoneering, it's not going to be a big deal. Huh. Party level five should be easy. So yeah, uh, I don't think we'll have any troubles here. But the sooner we're done, the better. Okay, new characters will fight at our side. So we've got her. So uh, can we see her abilities? More attributes. Oh, okay. Those are kind of useful. Uh, let's see. So what do we got? I guess initiative, health, and damage. Might as well throw those on. Can I see her abilities anywhere? It doesn't look like it. A focus. Nope. Oh, here we go. 60% of base damage is fired to a target. Trains up to two times to random enemy close oh. to the target. Each jump deals 15% less damage. Fiery amplification to an enemy for two turns. Ooh, pretty lights. Blazing barrier. Traversable wall of flames that deals 50% of base damage is fired to anyone passing through or standing in the area of effect. Last two turns. Uh, let's see, AoE fire damage. In the middle of the journey of our life, I found myself within a dark woods where the straightway was lost, but then I burned it to the ground and everything was all right. <laughs> fire shield applies deterrence to a uh, target ally for two turns. And lastly, Lord of Fire, some temporarily summons Gera Lord of the Fi Lord Gera, of Fire. Lord of Fire. Gera's lifespan on the battlefield is prolonged every time he receives fire damage from any possible sources. King of Flames bared on down on my enemy. Ooh, yeah, she'll be fun. Especially with uh, a summoned ally that we can just shoot fireballs at to keep him alive. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, so personal bonds with her. So playful manifestation increases Firefly's maximum chain length by one. No longer suffers from reduced damage based on jumping. That's really good. Blazing barrier lasts for an additional turn. Extra fire resistance. Inferno can be used regardless of the line of sight to the target. Fire shield has a chance to apply a stun. Gear receives empowered for three turns, 20% shield points, and fire uh, fire penetration. That's useful. I mean, all of it is useful. Okay, for the time being, though, I guess let's go to the merchant house for a moment. We're not going to hang out with the guy. I'm just going to sell some stuff. Hello, esteemed customer. Let's shop. Let's sell. So we've got... We've got the Caraclaws... The broadsword. The hunting gauntlets. Oh, you don't want those for someone? We already got the. We already used. Uh, bought them. 
Hunting oh. gauntlets are a green tier uh, weapon. Okay. Uh, that I guess is just not listed here. Uh, but it's a green tier weapon that we had already bought in for... What does the pouch of Sigma. salt get you? Pouch of salt. Uh, this? Negative res uh, effects resistance, so like fire okay. and whatnot. Yeah. So do you want to get something new for uh, Alice? Leave. Physical resistance. Uh, we could. That would be she needs the a focus arcane lens. lens. I mean, it's cheap enough. I'll do it. Okay, so let's get out of here. And then, honestly, I was thinking we'd hang out with Alice just for the uh, chain bonus, maybe? Maybe not. Uh, actually, the other thing I wanted to check, personal bonds. I assume... Yeah, she's ready to level up again. I don't want to get overpowering force, though. At all. What's that? Whirlwind uh, can be used more often. It's useful. But later. Okay, characters. Signy. Uh, or not Signy. Alice. We have Pouch of Salt. Negative effect resistance. Probably going to just toss it on him for the time being. I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, honestly, we want to build some more structures, but until we find the blacksmith, we can't bother. Well, well what's, what was the other one that we could build? The artifice, except we don't have... We don't have Mira. Mira. Yeah, so what we could build, we can build stuff. Is What's I, the pier? Uh, let's see. It allows you to fish for goodies. Well, that would be good if we got a Tsuchi coat Joji to do that We could that for upgrade us. the inn. Body and friend levels of Baz and But does that Luka. count towards the building of the structures? Oh, but we don't have enough glimmer. Or actually, no, we don't have enough of anything. What am I thinking? Mm hmm Or do we? No, we do. Three is what's required. Uh, the thing on the left is what's required, and the one on the right is what we have. Okay. So we could get that. That's not a bad one. The re the reason why, like, well, it Baz counts and towards Lulka, our goal, though. Uh, or do we need to have different structures built? Have to have different structures built, but oh, the other op option is the uh, town square. Mm hmm. Honestly, it's. I mean, it's useful. The best thing that we could do really is go out on adventures. Um. But if we can do some building, why not? Eh, bankrupting yourself, but you know you're totally correct. I just want to know which one will count towards our goal because we don't everything, want everything. Everything does. I mean, realistically, we've got. Um, if we go to quests, we've got kingdom quests. We've got two done, and we've got thirty-six days to get three more. So constructing three buildings. So you see, constructing buildings is more important than upgrading. Any three buildings at least once. Yeah. Right. Upgrade a building twice. Yeah. So. Constructing the three different buildings. Okay, that's that's more useful. Unfortunately, we can't do crafting for a while. Party level five should be really easy to do because effectively Which we do with dungeoneering. Yeah, so let's construct the pier and then we just go out dungeoneering. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we can hang out with party members later. Okay, well, you, don't you build there at the chest? Uh, oh, you're right. You can't build at the screen. I forgot. <laughs> Friendly fire is a thing. That's unfriendly. Okay. Uh, so the only thing that we can actually build right now is the pier. But we'll build it. Oh. No, oh, the pier, pier the was already pier was constructed. Already built. Uh oh. That was a waste then. Did you save anywhere? Uh. Had you saved? I have no idea. Mm, probably not. Oh, auto chapter one days left. Okay, here's I'm gonna save. That's gonna let's let's load back. So this is probably when we just reached the castle. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Eh, could be worse because effectively we're just gonna have this conversation. Okay. And then you're okay. Yeah. So let's figure out a new thing that you can build. I there's nothing we can build. Really. Nothing yeah, new? There's nothing new I think that we can build right now. Because Pathfinder Study, Smithy, Alchemist Lab, and Prospector Safe House, none of these can be upgraded. Oh, and those ones are at level one already. Yeah. So, but one of the things was to upgrade t 
twice? Up upgrade one building twice, which is way too expensive, or upgrade three different buildings, which is possible, but we just don't have enough money. Mm -hmm. So it's better that I just go out adventuring. Okay. Sorry about that. Eh, I just saw that the pier hadn't been built up yet. It looked like such a wreck. But I suppose everything will look like a wreck until they're completely built up, right? Yeah. I mean, I bet once we get up to T1, it won't be so bad. Okay, uh, so we want to get our hands on an arcane lens. And that's the end of it. Okay, cool.